4B, a change in the weather. Do you know what the weather is? The weather is the state of the atmosphere. Like if the sun is shining in the sky and there are no clouds, then the weather is sunny. If there are too many clouds in the sky, then we can say that the weather is cloudy. See the weather. Sunny, cloudy, snowy, rainy. It's okay. One. Read. A. Look at the picture. This is the picture. What do you think will happen to Bill? This is Bill. What do you think will happen to him, huh? Before we read, he seems to be falling in the sea, but will he fall? Well, I believe even if he did fall, he will not die. He will be rescued by his friends. Because uh, Bill is one of the main characters we have in the book. If he dies, then how will we continue the book? I think it's impossible for him to die. But the question is, will he fall? Do you think he will fall in the sea? Or will he be saved before he falls? We will read and find out. Now I will play the recording for you. Listen and find out. Where has your uncle gone, Bill? He's down below, isn't he? Why? Well, the waves are getting quite big. And look over there. Oh, no. That looks like a bad storm. Uncle Jack? Did you see that? Yup, and there's the thunder. Uh-oh. What's up? Are you feeling seasick again, Ali? Not anymore. I feel much better now, but... Look at those clouds. The weather is changing, isn't it? Yeah, the temperature has dropped. Come on, let's head back, shall we? You're all wearing life jackets, aren't you? Yes. Good. You all remember what to do on deck, don't you? Yeah. Hey, Tom, come and see this. I think I saw a dolphin. Not now, Bill. Hand me that rope, please. There it is again. Hold on tight, everyone. The wind is changing. Come on, Bill. Give me a hand. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! whoa. Help! Bill, grab this rope. Quick thinking, Tom. Well done. Phew. That was a close shave. You didn't hurt anything, did you? No, I'm fine. Good. Now stop messing around and help me. Tom's right. Sailing can be dangerous, especially in a storm. Sorry, Tom. Okay, now we read. Before we read, if you notice, I have put some boxes around some of these words and these phrases. These boxes are either violet or red. The red boxes are for phrases that will come in the exercise that follows this reading. So pay special attention to these ones, the red ones, because these phrases will come in the following exercise. Okay, let's read from the top. Where has your uncle gone, Bill? Where is your uncle? He's down below, isn't he? Why? He's down below means in the boat. Well, because the boys are on on the surface of the boat, but maybe his uncle, Uncle Jack, went inside the boat. Well, the waves are getting quite big, and look over there. The waves, the waves just like this one. This is a wave in the sea. They're getting big. Oh no, that looks like a bad storm. The storm when the weather gets really bad, then we call it a storm. Maybe rain is falling, uh, there is wind and uh, thunder, then it's a storm. Uncle Jack, did you see that? Yep, and there is the thunder. The thunder, look, this is a picture of lightning. What you see, the name of the thing that you see in the picture is lightning. What you hear, the sound, is called thunder, okay? You need to know the difference between lightning and thunder. Thunder is the sound. Lightning is the light, the thing that you see. Uh, what's up? Are you feeling seasick again? 
seasick. You know the meaning of sick when you are not feeling very well. Seasick. You when you are on a boat. You know uh, the boat is not stable the, the whole time. It moves up and down because the sea is mo moving. So uh, the boat is moving. So that makes you makes you feel nauseous, like you wanna throw up. So that is called seasick. Are you feeling seasick again, Ali? Not anymore. I feel much better now. But look at those clouds. The weather is changing, isn't it? Yeah, the temperature has dropped. Temperature. When the temperature drops, it the weather gets really cold. When the temperature drops, when the temperature rise, that is the opposite. Temperature rise m means the weather is hot. Temperature drops means the weather gets cold. Come on, let's head back. Let's return. Head back, return. Shall we? You're all wearing life jackets, aren't you? These are life jackets. Bill and Ali wearing life jackets. When when you fall in the sea, these life jackets are inflated, so you don't drown in the sea. Yes, good. You all remember what what to do on deck. Deck is the surface of the boat. Do you see this boat? The surface here, right here, the surface is called deck. Don't you? Yes, we do. Hey, Tom, come and see this. I think I saw a dolphin. Not now. Now is not the time. Well, actually, there is a storm coming, and you're talking about dolphins. So now is not the time, Bill. Hand me that rope, please. Hand me means give me. Give me that rope. Do you see what Ali is holding in his hands? This is called a rope. Rope. Please. There it is again. Hold on tight, everyone. Hold on tight. Be careful not to fall. Hold on tight. Be careful not to fall. The wind is changing. Wind means air moving fast. Come on, Bill. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Help me. Help me. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Help. Bill, grab this rope. Grab it. Hold it tight with all your might. Don't let it go. Quick thinking, Tom. Well done. Phew. That was a close shave. A close shave, Bill is saying that that was a close shave. That means he nearly fell in the sea. He didn't fall, but he nearly fall. A disaster almost happened. An accident almost happened, but it didn't. This is the meaning of close shave. You say close shave when an accident almost happened. You didn't hurt anything, did you? Did you hurt your, your, uh, your leg, your hand, your head? Did you hurt anything? No, I'm fine. I didn't hurt anything. Good. Now stop messing around. Stop playing. Stop acting silly. And help me. Tom, Tom's right. Sailing can be dangerous. Sailing means going on a boat in the sea can be very dangerous. Especially in a storm. That means when there is a storm, sailing becomes more dangerous. This is the meaning of specially. Sorry, Tom. Now, let's read and answer these exercises. These are the, the same phrases that were inside red boxes in the previous reading. Look at these expressions, 1 to 5, from the dialogue and match them with the meanings A to E. Hit back. Hand me, give me a hand, a close shave, miss around. Let's read the meanings. A situation where you almost have an accident. Help me. Return to a place. Behave in a silly way. Give something to me. Okay, hit back means if you remember, means to return. Let's head back. Let's return. Let's go back. Hand me the rope. Give me the rope. Give something to me. Give me a hand. Help me. 
That was a close shave. Bill said that when he nearly fell in the sea. That means A. A situation where you almost have an accident. The accident did not happen. He did not fall. This is why it was a close shave. Miss around behave in a silly way. Act like an idiot, like a fool. C. Read again and put the sentences in the correct order. Write 1 to 6. These are events, actions that happened in the previous reading. This is not true and false. All these things happened. But which one happened first? Tom stops Bill from falling in the water. Bill was going to fall, but Tom stopped him from falling. He helped him. They hear a clap of thunder. You know that uh, the very loud noise that you hear when you see a lightning? That is thunder. Bill's uncle decides it's best to go home. He thought that the wind is changing. There is a storm coming and it's better to go home. Bill sees something in the water. He saw a dolphin, right? Bill apologizes to Tom. Tom tells Bill to stop messing around and Bill says, yeah, I'm sorry. Apologize means say you're sorry. Ali and Bill see a storm coming. So which one happened first? The first thing that happened was that Ali and Bill saw a storm coming. And then they heard a clap of thunder. And then Bill's uncle decided it's best to go home. After that, Bill saw a dolphin in the water. And after that, Tom stopped Bill from falling in the water. He gave him a rope and told him to grab the rope. The last thing that happened, Bill said that he is sorry to Tom. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. Goodbye.